subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, today we will discuss and compare, two most coveted project management certifications among professionals. If you are unable to decide which is the right choice for you, you will be better equipped to make an informed decision after this video. So let's jump into understanding and assessing PMIACP versus CSM. Here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. Why Agile Project Manager Certification? Here are a few benefits of Agile Certification, irrespective of what choice you make in the PMIACP versus CSM. First, Agile is the growing trend in project management. Second, in addition to the project manager role, you can also look for a scrum master, business analyst, agile trainer, etc. Third, the salary survey from PMI states that a PMI ACP certified individual draws 20% more salary compared to the non-certified person. Fourth, salaries for various roles vary between $122,554 to $163,339 on an average. Let's first see their definitions. What is PMIACP? PMIACP is the most acclaimed credential for Agile practices. The Agile Certified Practitioner is a project management certification that comes from the PMI Institute. What is PMI? PMI has been the number one organization for project management across all the continents from the last 50 years almost. PMI Institute advocates project management best practices, and promotes research and education in project management. Project Management Body of Knowledge is the de facto standard for project management worldwide, and its Agile extension is the reference for many organizations. The Generic Project Management Certification PMP certification is the gold standard of project management. PMI is headquartered in Pennsylvania, USA. Though started in the USA, Currently PMI has its chapters and offices in all the continents, with a member base of 450,000 project managers and a total of 280 chapters spread across the globe. Why PMI? PMI has been catering to about 2.9 million professionals in project management space, adding value. You can see the mammoth reach of PMI and the number of years it has been standing for the project management profession, and the trust project managers and industry have in it. Therefore, it is obvious that a project manager certification from an organization of this size and reach will go a long way in your career. The exemplary service that PMI does in project management tilts the balance in favor of PMIACP in the PMIACP versus CSM discussion. Let us delve deeper to analyze PMIACP versus CSM so that you can arrive at which one is for you. What is CSM? Before we compare and contrast PMIACP versus CSM, let us see what CSM is. CSM stands for Certified Scrum Master. This certification is focused exclusively on Scrum methodology and Agile principles and practices. CSM credential comes from Scrum Alliance, a not-for-profit organization established in 2001 for the Agile community. If you are not aware, Agile has many flavors such as Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, etc. Therefore, when you are analyzing PMIACP versus CSM, one point to note is that when you go for CSM, you would be certified only in Scrum methodology of doing Agile projects. In addition to CSM which is akin to PMIACP, if you are a software developer, you could showcase your Scrum project ability by going for the Certified Scrum Developer. There are also Certified Scrum Product Owner, and Certified Scrum Professional. In Scrum Alliance, a different certification is needed for each role. Who should go for CSM? Are you working in an organization that uses Scrum methodology to deliver their projects? Do you want to advance your career prospects by adding a credential on Scrum values, practices, and applications and demonstrate that you have more knowledge and expertise compared to other project managers? If yes, CSM is the basic certification for the Scrum that you can start with. However, we recommend PSM, Professional Scrum Master Certification of Scrum.org instead of CSM. PSM certification will show your knowledge about Scrum, and will bring advantage to get Scrum Master roles as well. Now let's see who can go for these certifications. Firstly, if you are working in a company that imbibes Agile methodology, then you can plan for PMIACP certification exam or ACSM. Next, if you have been one of a close-knit team working on a project using Agile principles, then an Agile credential is definitely an asset. 
you have heard everyone's moving towards an agile environment therefore, you are curious as to what this is? Hence, you want to understand what agile practices are all about? Do you want to be recognized for your experience and knowledge of agile methodology? Currently, what is your role? Do you fit into any of these roles given below? It seems imperative that your survival is at stake if you don't have an agile certification whichever role you are in. Hence, it is essential that you understand the PMIACP versus CSM completely. Are you working in any of the following roles? 1. Project Managers 2. Associate or Assistant Manager, Projects 3. Team Leads, or Managers 4. Project Executives or Engineers 5. Software Developers 6. Any professional aspiring to be an Agile Project Management Professional the post is useful if you are working in one of the above capacities or aspiring to take one of those roles. Eligibility Requirements For you to take a call on PMIACP versus CSM, you also need to know their prerequisites. Let us start with PMIACP requirements. PMI ensures that there is a judicious mix of education and experience, along with formal training to be eligible to appear for the PMIACP certification exam. Here they are. Now. CSM Eligibility Requirements While PMIACP credential needs the above prerequisites to be fulfilled, CSM certification does not prescribe any specific education or experience. However, for CSM you need to first undergo a CSM course from a certified Scrum trainer. The CSM course you need to attend is an in-person, 2-day 16-hour program taught by a certified Scrum trainer. Now, let's compare their process of certification. PMIACP Certification Process Here are the steps for becoming PMIACP Certified which will tell you how to become ACP. You start by checking if you are eligible. If you meet the PMIACP requirements, you take the online ACP training or a classroom one. Then you apply online, pay fees, and fix a date for the exam while preparing using a PMIACP study guide in parallel. Then, you go to a Pearson View Test Center and take the test. Once you are certified, you need to maintain the credential, by earning PDUs or Professional Development Units. CSM Certification Process Here are the steps involved in the CSM certification. Take the two-day Scrum training. After the course, you need to register online for the Scrum Master Accredited Certification Program, within three months after attending the course. When you complete the online registration, you will get your exam access code. Then take the online test and become a certified Scrum Master. Now, we will see the exam details. Here is a comparison of the PMIACP versus CSM certification exam, the duration, number of questions and mode of test. Do try out the practice tests from our website of test prep training. At the outset, it may appear to you that the CSM is simpler, but you may also want to look at the pros and cons of PMIACP versus CSM before you jump to any conclusions. Let us look at the plus and minus of PMIACP and CSM, by analyzing the PMIACP versus CSM. Here's the brief comparison. Let's summarize the pros and cons of PMIACP versus CSM. While PMIACP certification has edge in terms of the overall assessment showcasing a holistic understanding of Agile environment, CSM lacks in the practical aspect in the PMIACP versus CSM comparison. The training on Agile practices is mandatory in both PMIACP and CSM. Flexibility with ACP certification training online gives it an edge in the tussle PMIACP versus CSM. From a cost angle in PMIACP versus CSM options, the winner is PMIACP. While the duration of the exam and number of questions are lower in CSM, you are getting the breadth of knowledge with PMIACP. PMIACP exam covers different Agile methodologies and hence you have wider exposure, and not limited to Scrum which is the case in CSM. Scrum Alliance website states that CSM course is only the first step, and becoming Agile needs dedication and continuous commitment. On the other hand, PMI says by becoming PMIACP you are demonstrating a certain level of professionalism in Agile project management. In your tryst with PMIACP versus CSM, you need to be aware that while CSM is focused on the software industry, PMIACP has wider application with more number of Agile methods and being industry independent. Hence, if you are a PMIACP, 
you can work in any industry that runs projects using agile methodology not necessarily only software development. Now, exam content. PMIACP exam coverage. When you appear for the PMIACP you should be aware of the seven domains and its associated tools and techniques which are CSM exam coverage. Following are the topics to be covered. You have all the ammunition on PMIACP versus CSM to decide which gives you a better value in the long run. And as you have seen PMIACP coming from PMI has more mileage and standing across the industries while CSM limits to IT industry only. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.